In this video, let's go ahead and learn how to insert records into tables. So far, we have a database called test with one table called person with the following columns, ID, first name, last name, gender, date of birth, and email. So let's say that we want to insert a new person into this table. So the person will have the ID of one, name Anne, last name Smith, gender female, and the following date of birth, the 9th of January of 1980, and this person does not have an email. So to create this person into our table, we have to write the following command, insert into, and then the actual table name, and then we have to specify the columns that we want to insert. In this case, first name, last name, gender, and date of birth. So remember, this person does not have an email. Therefore, we don't have to specify the email column. And then we have to say values. And then values takes an array of values matching the column's data types. So in our case, Anne Smith, female, and then the last column date of birth is actually date and not a string. So the way that you represent dates is by simply saying date. And then you have to make sure that the year comes first, then the month, and then the actual day. So there we go. So this is how you insert new records into any table. So let's now say that we want to insert a second record into this table, i.e. a second person. So let's go ahead and simply say insert into person. So insert into the actual table name called person. And then the columns that we will insert to are first name, last name, gender, date of birth. And in this case, this person has an email. So we also specify the actual email. And then we simply pass all the values. So Jake Jones male, and then the date of birth is the year is 1990, the month is January, and then the day is the 10th. And once we execute that command, we will get a new person with an ID of two into our database. So as you see, I'm not specifying the actual ID column. And this is because if you remember correctly, the big serial data type does an auto increment for us, which means that we don't have to manage this ID. So if we insert more people into this table, we simply get the ID managed for us, i.e. being auto incremented. So you'll get one, two, three, and then four, so on and so forth.